काकुल में इस वक्त पासिंग आउट परेड जारी है और नेवल चीफ एडमिरल जकाउल्ला यहां पर मौजूद हैं ये मनाजिर आप देख सकते हैं काकोल एकेडमी से जहां पर पासिंग आउट परेड जारी है पैंतीसवीं पीएम में ग्रेजुएट कोर्स की पासिंग आउट परेड है और इस खसूस तकरीब में मेहमान खसूसी हैं नेवल चीफ एडमिरल जकाउल्ला जो इस वक्त मौजूद हैं अब से कुछ ही देर पहले उन्होंने बाकायदा तौर पर परेड का मुआयना भी किया है Good morning. 
этот момент. تلاوت کلام پاک سے باقاعدہ طور پر آغاز کیا گیا ہے اس تقریب کا یہ مناظرہ ملاحظہ کر سکتے ہیں اور اب مہمان خصوصی ایڈمیرل زکا اللہ تربیت پانے والے جو بہترین کیاریٹس ہیں ان میں اسناد تقسیم کریں گے یہ مناظرہ ملاحظہ کر سکتے ہیں کہ اس وقت باقاعدہ طور پر ایڈمیرل زکا اللہ سے چند ہی لمحے بعد اعزازات اور اسناد جو ہیں وہ تقسیم کریں گے جن کیاریٹس نے بہترین تربیت کا مظاہرہ کیا ہے اعزازی شمشیر اور اس سے پہلے جو کیڈٹ تھے انہیں اعزازی چھڑی بھی دی گئی تھی یہ وہ کیڈٹس ہیں جنہوں نے اپنی تربیت کے دوران بہترین کارکردگی دکھائی ہے اور اس وقت ایڈمیرل زکا اللہ کی جانب سے بہترین کیڈٹس کو یہ اعزازات دیے جا رہے ہیں بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم نحمد ہو و نسلی علی رسول کریم میجر جنرل ندیم رضا کامنڈنٹ پی ایم اے ڈسٹنگوشڈ گیسٹس جنٹلمن کریٹس لیڈیز اینڈ جنٹلمن السلام علیکم گڈ مارننگ It is a great honor and privilege for me to review this impressive passing out parade at the Pakistan Military Academy, which is the alma mater and bedrock of Officers Corps of Pakistan Army and armies of many friendly countries. The excellent standard of today's parade and impeccable turnout of cadets are indeed a testimony to the highest professional standards and traditions at the Academy, which are upheld by the untiring commitment and dedication of faculty and the staff. Dear graduating cadets, 
today is indeed the most cherishable day of life. You have earned your commission from one of the finest military institutions of the world. I congratulate you on achieving this distinguished milestone. On this memorable day, you have made your parents and instructors proud by proving yourselves worthy of standing in line with those who are committed to defend the motherland at any cost. I extend my heartiest congratulations to your parents, families, and faculty who have contributed to your great achievement through their sincere commitment and guidance. Ladies and gentlemen, it is also a matter of immense pleasure and honor for us that cadets from friendly countries are being trained here. And today, the cadets from Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and Libya are also being commissioned. Your presence is reflective of the strong bonds of friendship that have solidified between our countries over time. The friendships that you have forged during your stay are going to last a lifetime. You will be entrusted with the most sacred duty of defense of your respective countries. With the skill sets acquired and refinement of qualities, you ought to be second to none. Ladies and gentlemen, the defense and security preparedness of any nation is in direct response to its security dictates. We in Pakistan have a history of facing perils and successfully surmounting them. The challenges that this young nation has faced over the past decades have made us more resilient and stronger. The unresolved disputes that continue to smolder and the daunting challenges that lie ahead mandate that we maintain a constant vigil on the internal as well as external fronts. Our commitment to eradicate the menace of terrorism and extremism from Pakistan remains unwavering. Operation Zerbe Azb nearing conclusion and pursuance of national action plan exemplifies the commitment and resolve of the entire nation and its armed forces to defeat this courage. Pakistan Army, being one of the most battle-hardened and professional armies in the world, has rendered numerous sacrifices of enormous sacrifices of officers and men. The numerous chapters of success have indeed been inscribed with the blood of our valiant soldiers, sailors, and airmen. We salute our shohada. Pakistan remains undeterred and will continue its march until we have secured our homeland against forces inimical to our progress and prosperity. Ladies and gentlemen, while Indian occupied Jammu and Kashmir continues to bleed and Pakistan is being continuously subjected to a volley of false accusations by India, let me reiterate the fact that Pakistan is a peace-loving country and seeks harmonious and peaceful coexistence with all its neighbors. The world can no more be misguided by the litany of falsehoods to divert global attention from atrocities in Indian-occupied Jammu and Kashmir or attempts at seeking refuge through concocted stories. Any unintended outcome or act of aggression born out of such adversarial design, whether by intent or even a strategic miscalculation will not go unpenalized.
we shall defend our sovereignty and territorial integrity with full might and at all cost. <laughs> My dear cadets, there should be no doubt in your mind that you are graduating at a defining moment in our history. As soon as you go in the field, you will lead highly trained and motivated men. Your conduct and professionalism will be closely observed and emulated by them. You are therefore expected to blend the traits of professional acumen, loyalty, courage and character in your personality. Your efforts must be directed at setting personal examples of self-discipline and perseverance, always retaining the element of compassion in your dealings with others. I have full trust that you will not only uphold the great tradition set by your predecessors to lead from the front, but will also set new standards of chivalry and bravery. In the end, I once again extend my heartiest felicitations to the passing out cadets on their well-deserved commission in the Army. The award winners particularly deserve appreciation for their distinguished achievements. And I also congratulate Heather Company for becoming the best company. Naval Chief Admiral Zakaullah Khitab Karheti, Unhone Kaha Ke Bharat Ki